Welcome back. This time we're going to be creating a box from scratch. This is a very useful tutorial that's going to teach you a lot more about the engine than you realize just because we're going to be making an object that you take for granted from scratch. Let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, we'll do it the easy way. Uh, so with the dev tip equipped, I can open up the context menu here and do create new 3D model box and I get a box. But that's no fun. So let's go ahead and do that manually. To do that, we're going to go ahead and do the following steps. We're going to go to create new, empty object, and you'll start to see this resemble that as we as we move along. So we're going to start with an empty object, then I'm going to go ahead and attach a component to it. So we'll go to attach component, assets, procedural meshes, box mesh, I'll leave this open because we'll be attaching a bunch of components to it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the setup renderer item there. I'll go back away because I spawn inside it. Uh, and that looks the same, but it doesn't behave the same. For example, this one I can move and this one I can't move. Let's set up moving it. To set up moving it, we're going to be needing a few more components. So we'll be needing the uh, first of all, the collider, which is what you contact with when you're grabbing it. So for that, we'll do physics, colliders, box collider. And now you'll see that the laser hits it. Next up, we need to attach the component that allows us to move it. So we're going to go to transform, interaction, grabbable, and now we can move it. There is a problem here, however, though, which is that box meshes have a property on them called size. You'll see it here. If I change this, to be 10 times smaller on all axes, X, I, then you'll see that the box has changed size, but the collider hasn't. You'll see that collider represented by our gizmo box there. We can sync those up with another useful component called um, this tool being in my face. No, the component is called value copy. So what we're going to do is head on back to the root and we're going to go to transform drivers scroll down to the bottom value copy and then we're looking for value copy float 3. with value copy float 3 added we're done adding components we can go ahead and close that let's get down to the value copy component you'll see it has a source and a target and all it does is it copies the value from the source to the target i can also do a video on value copy if you'd like so what we need to do is copy the size from the box to the size of the collider so you do that by grabbing size from the box mesh, scrolling down here and putting it in the source. And then for target, we've got to find the box collider, find size and put it in size. And now these two are synced. So you see that um, cyan box shrunk down. That's because the collider shrunk down and now it's the exact same size as the box. Let's make the box a really weird dimension. So let's uh, change this from 0.1 here to six so now it's more like a two by four or whatever you'll see that the collider has changed with it and we can grab it along there if i hit visualize collider uh, here you'll see that it is the same dimensions as the um as the mesh let me clear that, which is an error I did there. There we go. So you'll see that the collider, which is the green box, is the same size as the um, the white box that's underneath it. If I close that, you'll see we go back to the white box. So there we go. To finish off here, I'm going to go ahead and open up both the automatically created box and our box, and we can compare the two. So this is our box. And this is the automatically created box. So you'll see they both have a sub mesh. That's great, we did that. They both have a mesh renderer. That was set up automatically when we pushed the setup renderer button. Uh, they both have a material. Uh, that box's material isn't on the object, it's somewhere else though. But they both have a box collider. They both have a grabbable component and they both have that value copy component. And there you go, that's creating a box from scratch. I hope you learned something about how much work Resonite is doing behind the scenes here to make a box work. If you're interested in those various components and how they work, I can do tutorials on those too. I'm taking requests, drop them in the comments section. I'll see you next time.